Hi, I'm Luca, and welcome to this episode of Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. Today, I'd like to focus on dynamic hydronic balancing for room applications, and especially look at fan coil unit, one of the most popular solutions for controlling indoor climate in offices, hotel rooms, apartments, and much more. Let's start with what is a fan coil unit. A fan coil unit basically consists of a heat exchanger and a fan. It transports the heating or cooling energy from the hydronic network with temperature controlled air into the room. Fan coils are particularly well suited for room applications. If someone changes the room temperature setting, the fan coil reacts very quickly thanks to a relatively low thermal inertia. A low inertia is the capability to quickly transfer the energy from the water into the air so that the system can be operated with fairly high temperature difference between flow and return pipes, called delta T, which is very energy efficient. In order to take full advantage of the high delta T, the hydronic system must also be designed for this. This means that to switch from a constant volume system design with three port valves to a dynamically variable flow system with speed control pumps and two port valves. On the left, you can see buildings with custom volume system design with triple valves to the fan coil unit. And on the right hand side, the same building with variable volume system design. Here, dynamic balancing control valves, PACVs, are used for the fan coil units. Let's say our building is a hotel and several rooms are not occupied. The fan coil units can run at minimum temperature set point. In the variant on the left with the custom flow, in a diverting circuit, a triple valve simply directs the flow that is not required back into the return pipe. The delta T decreases because the water runs back unused without giving up temperature. That's why energy is wasted. In the system on the right, the PACV adjusts the flow to the demand so that the delta T remains consistently high and, thanks to the pump speed control, much less energy is required and the efficiency of the system remains high. That's why, for hydronic flow optimization, I always recommend dynamic valves, no matter which building automation system is used. As already explained in the second episode of this video series, dynamic valves automatically ensure a balanced system under all load conditions without sacrificing comfort and with high energy efficiency. However, it should be said that in order to get the most out of a fan coil application, not only the dynamic hydronic balancing is crucial, but also the right combination of field devices. Siemens offers a wide range of dynamic valves for fan coil units, from simple on-off solutions to application with remote access and simple integration in building automation and control systems such as the Zigo, always fitted with the right actuator. Here is an example. This is a PSEV with an electromotoric room actuator. Whilst the dynamic valve takes care of the water side of the system, the actuator here provides all the functions that are needed in order to perform a proper building automation control. This actuator, for example, regulates the flow by using a modulating signal, for example, 0 to 10 volt, further supporting the energy efficiency of the application. The actuator is also able to self-detect the stroke of any valve it is installed to, and this is a fundamental feature if you want to make sure your valve, actuator, fan coil combination is able to deliver an overall good energy performance. In the next episode, I'm going to focus on chiller beams for room applications. Thank you for watching. Do it right. Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. Oh,